Hey, it's Ben Greenfield, and I want to show you a few dirty things that are in my refrigerator, even though I eat pretty clean. So when I refer to dirty, I'm talking about bacteria. And there are all sorts of foods that you can keep in your refrigerator, make yourself, or buy at the grocery store that are full of bacteria, but it's the good kind of bacteria. And you've probably heard of probiotics and the good bacteria in yogurt, but there's many, many other items that contain other types of good bacteria. And the more different types of good bacteria that you can eat and expose your gut to, the better. So let me show, a few, show you a few things in my, uh, in my refrigerator. So the first here is kombucha. Uh, kombucha you can buy at the grocery store. You can also make it yourself, which is what we do. It's got a real, real distinct flavor, but it's chock full of good bacteria. You can get it in different flavors and fuse with different things, but basically the first dirty item I have in my refrigerator that I drink throughout the day is kombucha. Next thing I want to show you is kefir. Kefir is also something that you can buy at the grocery store. You want to be careful you get the stuff that doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. Uh, we also make kefir ourselves, but kefir, in contrast to kombucha, has different types of probiotics in it. It's made a different way. This is something you can mix with protein powder, use with cereal, or use in the same way that you might use yogurt or milk. The next thing that I want to show you are pickled items. Here we've got pickles, and here we've got, if I can get them out, Pickled tomatoes, also uh, dirty items, they're fermented, they do have bacteria, but once again, it's good bacteria. And if you, if you get the stuff that you make yourself or you spend a little bit more money at a, at a healthy grocery store, you're gonna get the stuff that hasn't been pasteurized, exposed to high temperatures, or had a lot of the bacteria killed. But fermented items like this, pickled items like this, have a lot of good bacteria in them that are gonna benefit your body. One other thing I want to show you down here is kimchi. You can find kimchi recipes all over on the internet. Once again, this is one that, that we make ourselves. But kimchi is basically originally like a, like a Korean type of dish. It's got cabbage and carrots and other things that are fermented in like a mason jar. And once again, this has a different type of good bacteria in it as well. These would all be considered bacteria-laden, dirty foods, but if you want to perform your best and have a great healthy gut, these dirty items should be in your clean eating refrigerator. Enjoy.